Hey guys, Selena here. Today I'm going to attempt to do my first ever get ready with me video. I'm going to do a five minute makeup look that is going to take me longer than five minutes right now because I'll be demonstrating and talking about the products I'm using. Um, I'm going to utilize Beauty Counter's uh, Flawless in 5 product bundle. Um, it is six products uh, geared to help you create a flawless look in five minutes. First, I've got to put my hair back. So first product in the Flawless in 5 bundle is a um, coverage product for your skin. And the thing that I love about Beauty Counter's um, foundations, if you will, uh, is that they're kind of like half skincare products. It's It's got ton, it, they're filled with tons of good for your skin uh, ingredients. So you get to choose between the Dew Skin, which is one of Beauty Counter's best sellers. Um, it is a moisturizing coverage with uh, SPF 20. So this has been great to have during the summertime, but honestly, you should be using SPF on your face year round. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like a tinted moisturizer. It's more like sheer coverage. Um, if you don't want to look like you're wearing like a lot of makeup or you, you know, truly want skincare plus coverage in one, this is the one that you should do. Um, and then we also have the Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation. This one does not have SPF, but it's a little bit more coverage. It's like a medium coverage and you can build it up if you want. So. I'll go ahead and do the dew skin because I might sit outside in the backyard with my dad later today and it's kind of sunny out. So really you just need one pump. That's all I'm going to do. And rub it into your skin. And that is it. So that's product number one in the Flawless and Five bundle. Product number two that you get to pick is the Touch Up Concealer Pen. This is a really cool little pen. It's a clickable pen. So you click the top part. I've already got my product clipped, so I'm not gonna click it more. And you just can kind of put it wherever you feel like you need a little more coverage. And if you're aiming for a seriously flawless and five minute look, really you just wanna kind of focus on under your eyes or maybe if you have a breakout somewhere. So I'm just gonna do a couple little swipes under my eyes here. Um, and then you just kind of dab it in with your ring finger because your eye skin eye area is the most sensitive skin on your face and you don't want to use a heavy finger and your ring finger is going to be the lightest one sometimes i like to bring this up onto my eyelid um, to really brighten up that eye area and sometimes i'll put concealer like in this little area here i get right around the nose um, just demonstrate that. Cool. Let's see. Let's go to our brows. Well, you get to pick between the Beauty Counter Brow Gel, which has also become a quick favorite of mine, um, or a brow pencil. So the brow pencil comes with a little spoolie that you can kind of brush out your brows before you apply. I'll go ahead and do one of each. I'm going to start with the pencil, and this is in dark. So let's see, can I? These pencils are pretty pigmented. They've got a little bit of wax to them, so they help hold that hair in place. And I'm just gonna draw little light strokes and then kind of fill in. And then you grab your spoolie end and you kind of brush that product, that color through your brows. And that is it. What I love about the Beauty Counter Brow Gel is it's even easier, it takes even less time than the brow pencil. So if you're really going for that five minute look, this one might be, might be your safer bet. And these little brow gels are pretty popular right now. And this, you pretty much just brush that product through your brow. And this has a lot more hold than the pencil. It's a lot more waxy. And so you can really kind of shape your brows the way you want. So I'm gonna comb those down, tame it down a little bit. Cool. So I don't know if you can see a big difference. 
Next one we're gonna do is the blush. And so you're just gonna get a little pop of color, add some rosiness and life color to your face. Um, I've got three different blushes here. I'll show you all three. This one is Melon. And this is kind of a matte blush. It's, there's no shimmer to it. Um, and it's kind of a peachy pink color. Beauty Counter's number one selling blush. It's Nectar and it's very similar to Melon. Let me hold them up next to each other. Very, very similar. This one's maybe a little more neutral. This one's maybe a little more pinky. And this one, you can't really tell on here, but it, oh, there it is. This one has a little bit of shimmer to it. And for all you gals that just like a pink blush, you got guava. So, and this is also similar to melon in that it's kind of a matte. There's no shimmer to it. Um, I actually think I might use this one today. The thing about Beauty Counter's blushes is they are highly pigmented. So you really only need a little bit. Um, so my favorite thing about this, it says no secrets added. Um, second to last product, uh, fun fact has been hiding in my bra this whole time. It is the mascara. So Beauty Counter has two mascaras, lengthening and volumizing. Lengthening mascara is my jam and I'll tell you why. It's a tiny brush and because of that I'm able to get these inner corner lashes and these outer corner lashes and it doesn't smudge because there's not a whole lot of product on that tiny brush. I'm not getting product all over my eyelid after I've done eyeshadow. Um, the reason why I had it in my bra is because because this is a more clean mascara um, it doesn't have the products in, or ingredients in it that would cause it to stay kind of um, more of a liquidy texture so it can kind of thicken up and some people think that it dries out. My two tricks are to put in a drop or two of lavender essential oil, it makes it smell yummy and it keeps it nice and more uh, of a fluid texture and to put it in your bra and let it warm up while you're doing the rest of your face. You warm it up and it becomes a lot more easy to, to apply. So I might not do the whole curling of eyelashes on here. Maybe I will. Nope, I'm not. Now with my warmed up mascara and my curled eyelashes, you can see how tiny that brush is? Um, it just makes it a lot more easy to do a precise application. Oh, look at me. I'm over here talking about how I don't get mascara on my eyelid with this, and I just did that. And it smells good because I've got my lavender scent. Ooh, that didn't look very pretty. Last product of the Flawless and Five Bundle, I'm gonna take my hair down for this, um, is the lip gloss. Beauty Counter's lip glosses are not sticky. They smell amazing and um, they're super moisturizing. And so when I was in Colorado, um, my lips were constantly chapped and dry. I hated it. <laughs> when I found that I was using this daily, my lips kind of got better because it's so moisturizing. And I can say the same about Beauty Counter's lipsticks too. Um, so I don't know, what do you guys think? I kind of, I kind of feel on this one. And then this one is Azalea. And that, isn't that just pretty? I, so. And I'm applying not with the flat side directly on, I'm actually turning it to the side to not put too much product on my lips. And then just gently getting that color on there. Okay, so. They put um, natural vanilla in these lip glosses and that's why it smells so good and it really does make me feel like I'm in high school again. 
putting on a lip product that like you want to eat because it smells so yummy. Okay, and that is my Flawless in 5 look. This was my first time doing a Get Ready With Me and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure you get the right color for your skin. And then brow gel, brow pencil, brow gel. These are all very similar in color. You can tell I go for a certain shade. This is the one I use today. But honestly, your skin is gonna look good. It's gonna feel good. You've got skin loving ingredients in those products. Things smell good. You put lavender in your mascara. Your lips smell like vanilla. You're good to go. So thank you for watching.